All right, let's talk about diffraction gratings. Um, a diffraction grating is a device with a large number of equally spaced parallel slits. So we're talking about a lot of little slits so close together you can't even tell them apart. Um, and when we get back to class, I will show you what one looks like. Um, now, if I shine monochromatic light on this, take a guess at what happens. I get a diffraction pattern. Okay. I get bright, dark, bright, dark, bright, dark. Okay. Um, now, there's proofs for this. You can find them online. You can find them in the textbook. I don't really care. Um, the net result is, is we're getting a set of equations um, just like we did before. Actually, almost the same as we had for double slits. Double slits was m lambda equals d sine theta for double slits, the d being the, the distance between the slits. Here we were replacing d with a w, um, where w is the distance uh, between slits. Uh, w distance Again, we have the order number uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 for the bright, dark 1, 2, 3. Um, here we go. You, we, you're going you're gonna to want these in a moment, so you might pause this video and make sure that you have these down. Um, also to this guy here, often you're going to be given um, in the question um, ha the number of slits per meter or number of slits per centimeter and to find W I invert that so it's 1 over n um, and if you if you happen to be given this in number of lines per centimeter after you do this divide it by another 100 to get it into meters so we're going to scroll down here and try a couple of questions okay so uh, I've got definitely have a a diffraction grading. I see lambda is 500, whoop, 540 nanometers, which is 5.4 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Uh, I see that um, n is 8,500 lines per centimeter. Uh, and it's asking me to calculate the angles of all the maxima. Okay. Um, so first I'm going to need W. So W is going to be equal to 1 over N. Now N is in centimeters, so I'm going to need to divide that by another thousand. So I'm going to get 1 over 8500 and then another, sorry, another hundred, not another thousand. And when I do this, when I do this math, I get 1.176 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. That's how uh, much space there is between the slits. So, when m is 0, uh, using the formula from up above, and I'll just scroll up to grab it, because we want the one with angles, yeah? So it's m lambda w sine theta m lambda w sine theta. Already over here. m lambda equals w sine theta. Uh, so when m is 0, uh, theta is going to be 0 degrees. Because it's straight across. It's the one straight across from the slits in the middle. Uh, when m is one, I'm going to get uh, sine theta is equal to uh, m lambda over w, which is one times 5.4 times 10 to the minus seven, all over this 1.176 times 10 to the minus six, and theta will work out to be here 27 degrees. Um, when m is 
two, I'm going to repeat this process. Two times five point four times ten to the minus seven, all over one point one seven six times ten to the minus six. And when I inverse sign that, I'm going to get sixty seven degrees. Now, you might say, what am I going forever here? But when I put in m is three, um, I'm going and I plug into this formula again. I get sine of theta is equal to one point three seven seven, and that is a great big eh, because the sine of theta has always got to be less than one. So what's this telling me? It's telling me that when I'm in this scenario, I'm only going to be able to see a couple of, um, I'm going to see the central one, and then I'm going to see two more on each side. I'm not going to get a third one um, on each side of the central. Uh, next question. Light, oh, there's, I see N here is going to be 9,000 lines per centimeter. This is a uh, diffraction grating. Uh, M is 1, uh, and I see theta is 32 degrees, and it's asking me for what lambda. I'm going to need W is 1 over N. Now again, this is in uh, centimeters, so I'm going to get 1 over not just 9,000. I'm going to add two more zeros on there. Now this is going to be in meters. Um, M lambda is W sine theta. I'm looking for lambda w sine theta over m. n is 1. That looks up nicely. I get 1 over that times uh, the sine of 32 degrees. And when I work this all out, I'm going to get 5.89 times 10 to the minus 7, which is 589 nanometers. Um, so there's uh, the formulas, this idea of diffraction gratings, and a couple of sample questions all worked out for you.